I don't know how anything like this could happen. I don't know how a kid could shoot up a school and literally just like purposely kill some other people. Horrified students are trying to comprehend a shooting at Santa Clarita High School that left two of their classmates dead. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcelo Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. The teenage gunman opened up fire around 730 this morning at Saugus High School in Santa Clarita. That's about 35 miles north of Los Angeles. Tonight, residents, community members and students came together to hold a vigil for the victims. News 8's Richard Allen is live in Santa Clarita tonight with more on the investigation and the chilling social media posts left behind. Richard. And Marcella and Carlo, this community is reeling, trying to come to grips with the fact that this horrific school shooting, which claimed the life of a 16-year-old girl and 14-year-old boy, happened in what was one of Los Angeles County's safest school districts. Now, authorities say the gunman, whom we are choosing not to identify, tonight remains in grave condition as investigators are trying to figure out exactly why this happened. Thursday night, a somber vigil in Santa Clarita to remember the two students killed and three others injured after a fellow student opened fire with a 45 caliber handgun in the quad of Saugus High School Thursday morning. We've got an active shooter at Saugus High School. Police say the student gunman who turned 16 on Thursday used his last bullet to shoot himself in the head. He was hospitalized along with his alleged victims and is reportedly in grave condition. It was terrifying. You know, I can't even describe it. I'm still processing it myself. We all raced out and then while we were racing out we heard three more gunshots behind us and it's just the scariest part is that you don't know where they're coming from. Students at Saugus High School were on lockdown for more than an hour before they were escorted by armed deputies to a nearby park reunited with their frantic parents. For like two hours it was terrifying and not knowing you know what was happening not hearing from your child, it's the most terrifying thing in the whole world. Thursday evening, investigators served a search warrant on the suspect's nearby home. They're also looking into his social media activity leading up to the shooting, including this Instagram post that reads, Saugus, have fun at school tomorrow. I can confirm that that was posted on his account, and I can also confirm that it has been changed on, since this incident, which means there is somebody else that has access to this account. Investigators now want answers. So with heavy heart, we're gonna move forward with the investigation to figure out what went wrong. Now, of the three victims who were wounded and sent to the hospital, one of those three victims, a boy, has been released. Two others, two girls, a 14-year-old and 15-year-old, remain hospitalized this evening. We understand one of them has undergone surgery for her injuries. Carla and Marcella. All right, Richard, thanks.